everyone, thanks for stopping by the channel today and welcome back to this brand new video uploading here on the channel of Game Time Life. Now in this new video I'm going to be showing you another male blue joggers outfit because you guys showed massive support on the latest one so as I decided to do another one it seems like you guys are a little bit sick of like the white jogger outfits and everything. So here I am bringing you another exclusive blue jogger outfit. Now before I go into the tutorial, I want to give a huge shout out to Trill City on Twitter for inspiring me to make this outfit. The link to the Twitter account will be in the description box down below, so make sure that you check it out, give it a follow and show some love before creating this outfit. So in today's video, we're basically going to be like doing the blue jogger outfit using the outfit transfer glitch, which is currently the easiest one. But there is also like the creator transfer method. It is up to you whichever one that you want to use. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be showing you like the components in this video. And then I will just do the transfer glitch myself. And then I will also show you how to merge it and to create the full outfit on the male character. So let's get straight started. Now, first of all, you want to make sure that you have a female and male character. So on this account, I didn't have a female. So that's why I created one, as you can see in the gameplay right here. And if you have a male and female, it doesn't matter in which slots they are. If your male is on slot number two, which is your main, that is also okay. But then you have to do like the double transfer method in order to do this. So the easiest transfer glitch, which I'm also going to be doing. So first of all, you want to go into a online session with your male character and then you're just going to go and uh, apply the outfit that you want to keep. So for me, I already had my blue joggers on the male with my IA badge. So of course, I do not want to like uh, have that outfit deleted. So that's why I put it on onto my male character and then you want to go ahead and swap to the female because all your current outfits on the male will be removed so that's why you need to apply the outfit that you want to keep. Now as soon as you have the outfit on like I said swap over to your female and this is the character where we're going to be creating the components on. So we're going to be creating uh, three outfits and these are the ones that uh, we're going to be creating. So on slot number one we have the race gloves then we have the bodysuit and then we have the race suit belt which is gonna like put it all together and create the outfit for the thumbnail. So we're going to start off with outfit number one, which is for the race gloves. And for that, you want to start off in the top section, go to leather jackets and put on the 10 GC jacket. Now we'll put on this tank top underneath immediately or automatically. Um, that is okay. If it has a different top underneath, it doesn't really matter. So then you want to go into pants and like always put on the spotted muscle pants to merge the blue joggers. And then we're going over to accessories and you want to put on these black and white deco earrings. And these are to make sure that we can merge the IA badge. So if you do not have a IA badge, but you want to merge a scarf, for example, then you can also do that. If you do not want to merge any neckwear at all, you can leave the earrings off. So then for shoes, we're going into boots and you want to put on these brown tech boots, which are the red, blue and white racing suit shoes. And then you want to go ahead and save this on slot number one. Now, if you want different shoes or whatsoever, you can put on. So now for the bodysuit top, we're going to be changing it into this leather jacket. And then we're adding a pair of gloves. So you want to go ahead and go back to the tops, go into the leather bomber jackets and put on the green dotted leather close jacket. If it is open, then close it with your interaction menu. And then you want to put on these light woodland tactical gloves and these are of course to make sure that we can merge the race gloves from slot number one. So those are the only things that we're going to be adding and then you want to save that on slot number two. And then we're going over to the last outfit which has the racing suit belt on it. And for that we're just changing the top components one last time into this tuck t-shirt and leather jacket com combination, combination. Sorry. So you want to put on the blue cropped biker leather jacket, which is a merch jacket to merge the bodysuits. And then you want to go into the tuck t-shirts and you're going to put on the yellow guffy roller tee, which is the race suit belt components. And once you have applied that, you're going to save that on slot number three. And then all of your components are basically done and you can transfer them over right now. So like I mentioned in the beginning, you can do it with either the creator or like the apartment transfer glitch. That's what I call it. 
Um, it's up to you whichever one that you use. I'm going to be using the easiest one, which is the apartment one. Both will be linked down in the description box down below. So make sure that you transfer your outfits over and then I'll see you guys back in a second. Okay, so I'm back here on the male character and as you can see, all three of the outfit slots have transferred over to the male. And what you want to do right now is of course save your current outfit on the male that you didn't want to leave. So for me, my blue jogger outfit. And before I get questions about the blue helmet, I had it when the glitch was out. Right now the glitch is still out, but with it's with a net cut method, I think. Um, so that's why I'm not doing a video on that. So just to let you know, I've had this before. So of course, for this outfit, you need a pair of blue joggers. Those will be uh, linked in the description box too. It is the director mode method, and you just want to search inside of director mode, maybe like freeze the mask or something to get the blue joggers. So if you want to get those, link will be in the description box down below. But if you're too lazy to get them, you can also do it with a different pair of joggers. So for example, the black ones from the store or white or red, whatever that you think looks good on this outfit. So if you do have it, then you simply want to leave your pair of joggers and your IA badge on. And then we're going over to the Rucksack Grid versus job called Crooked Cop. And it doesn't matter if you host it or join this job, but you want to pay attention to clothing. It has been set to player owned. So as you can see, I joined someone else and he or she has put clothing to player owned. So that is okay. So what you want to do right now is wait for the job to load up or else if you're hosting it, invite a bunch of players and then again, just wait for it to load up. So now you will be at the screen right here. You want to scroll to owned outfit and go onto the right to put on the gloves outfit first. We need to activate the race gloves before we can continue with merching. So you want to hit ready to play and wait until you spawn in the mission. And then you're going to put on either a earpiece or a rebreather to seal this onto our character. So now that you've done that, you can simply pull up the phone and quit the job. And as soon as we're back, we're going back over to the closed door. So now you want to take off your earpiece or your rebreather, just like you see me doing right here. You can also leave it on, but I just always do it this way. And then you're going over to the glove section and you want to find the race suit gloves and simply hit X on those. And then these will appear onto our outfit, just like you see right here. So now this is the setup outfit that we're basically going to be merging with the top components. So you want to override the very first outfit slot so it is not in the way. So just save it right there. And then we're going over to the Crooked Cop mission one last time to merge all of these items with the bodysuit top and the race suit belt. So just simply walk outside, return back over to the mission. You know all the steps, how it works, clothing player owned and everything. And once you're back on the screen right here, you're scrolling over to owned outfit and go two or go three times to the right. Um, for outfit slot number one, you will not see anything changing because we overrided that. Then you will have the blue, white and black bodysuit. And then last but not least, we have the race suit belt. So now this is our outfit fully merged together and this is what it looks like. So you want to hit ready to play and again, put on that rebreather or earpiece and then you're all good to go. And your outfit is basically all done. So what I did is, of course, I always show at the end of the video what I created out of the outfit. I basically added a black rebreather because there are a couple of black items into this outfit. So, for example, the bodysuit and the IA badge. And I added my blue helmet to match with the joggers. And I also got this red and blue duffel bag, which is from Husky's job. And also the yellow... Um, Thing from like the duffel bag matches with the IA badge I think and the red and blue matches perfectly with this outfit so this is how I finished it off I really really like this outfit and I hope you guys like it as much as I do please subscribe and turn on post notifications and then of course I hope to see you back in the next tutorial or glitch video here on the channel bye guys